welcome to this Blender 2.64 uh, video tutorial. <clears throat> uh, I know that uh, right up here it says version uh, 2.6319. This is the <clears throat> latest SVN, which is 2.64, I believe. But anyway, that really doesn't have any relevance to what we're about to do. What I'm going to do is show you... Uh, how to set up a custom key map or at least uh, this is the one that I'm using as I'm uh, learning Blender um, I'm trying to go through and share everything that I learn and coming from another 3D application uh, Blender's default settings are were kinda hard to wrap my head around and um, if you're a current Blender user and you've been using the default settings a while um, this is not a problem. I take no offense <coughs> to that whatsoever, and I hope you don't take any offense to uh, me experimenting and setting up uh, some a uh, custom key map. Uh, the reason I say that is because uh, there are a lot of Blender purists out there, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. So anyway, with that being said, let's get started. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tap my space bar, which brings up the dynamic um, space menu. And uh, down towards the bottom, you have uh, you can toggle to edit mode. Tap it again when you're in edit mode, and you can go to inner object mode. And I'm pretty sure that that is uh, the dynamic space bar is included in the trunk now. Um, if you don't have that enabled, you can go to the file, go to user preferences, or you can use the hotkeys control alt and U. And uh, under the add ons, should be the 3D view dynamic space bar. Also, I'd like to mention that uh, if you need some more <clears throat> 3D view real estate, you can use the control and up to hide your outliner and your properties uh, panel here. Uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and go into the edit menu. Okay, uh, the first thing I want to show you is uh, the uh, toggle selection that I've set up. Uh, nope, before I do that, I need to make sure that uh, let's go back into the preferences and go into input. <clears throat> I do have. Uh, over here on this side of the preferences window I do have select with uh, a left mouse button orbit style is turntable and I also have continuous grab turned on let's see here I know I'm forgetting something I have some uh, notes made here and I'm hopefully don't miss anything sorry if you hear paper shuffling or uh, <clears throat> that I kind of am not saying anything for a minute here but I'm trying to make sure uh, that I don't miss anything oh another add-on uh, that you may want to uh, make sure that you have is um, the 3d cursor tools I use uh, this little um, icon here, this little one that looks like an eyeball, uh, to turn on and off the uh, the 3D cursor because the way I have this set up, uh, if it's hidden, um, if it's in plain sight, it may get in your way. So anyway, uh, to turn that on, let's go back to preferences and uh, 3D cursor tools. Well, I don't remember where that is. That may be... I don't remember if I installed that as an add-on or it's standard in the trunk now. Um, if somebody knows, please let me know. 
So anyway, um, when I tabbed into edit mode, uh, I was automatically in the uh, the vertex selection. But I've have it the selection set up where I can right click and go to whatever component I need to choose. So I was right click and I'm going to show you how to set up that menu. Uh, also let's go to vertex selection and I have uh, the control and the right mouse button set to lasso select you are still able to hold the shift key and deselect the way I have it set up I'll also show you how to set that up and then I have uh, control and right click for lasso selection so that was left click and control to um, border select right click control to lasso select um, let's see here I'm trying to think if there was anything else that I have set up no I believe that's it so <clears throat> let me go ahead and get started and and uh, show you how to uh, set those up so let's go ahead and control alt u and go to the input tab and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to set up the the uh, right click uh, to s call the menu for the component selection and uh, that is set up in uh, let's see 3d view 3d view mesh and here's call menu let's go to the second call menu here and it's set up as mouse and right mouse and then you need to have uh, right click and press set up to call that menu up also something I failed to mention um, I have let's see let's select this I have also set up where if I click, I make a selection, then I click to deselect. I need to show you how to set that up. Uh, it's under uh, the where we were just at under mesh and select and deselect all under the uh, the first deselect and select all. I have it mouse left mouse left click so okay I've showed you how to set up uh, the, the right click click menu to select components and now I'm going to show you how to uh, uh, set up the the um, border menu select so let me take a look at my notes here mm -hmm -hmm. okay let's go back to the preferences and it is under it's not under the mesh it's under 3d view I believe it was 3d 3D view global and it's under border select so let's scroll on down here I believe I'm in the right place I probably should have <clears throat> ran through all this before I started recording 
the flag select. Yep. It's a uh, border select. And the way it is set up, um, look right here. It is tweak, left, any, and control. That is tweak, left, any, and control. Okay, and for the lasso select, you need to make sure. Um, well, let's see, border select, tweak, left, any, and that's correct. Uh, and then under lasso select, you have uh, two lasso selects listed here. And you want tweak, action, any, and control, and the extend box checked it checked and then the uh, pretty much the same well the shift control extend and deselect tweak action and any sorry if I ran through that too fast um, but you can always uh, watch this again if need be uh, so now I've shown you how to set that up you can Use the right mouse button to toggle your selection mode. You can right click and drag to make a border selection, or you can left click and drag to border select. Anyway, um, I hope this helps you out, especially if you're coming from another application. Um, please leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe or like this video. I appreciate you watching. Have a great day.